Also, just adding this little clip in there, um, I know I'm wearing different clothes, run and run and run them. It's a little bit later on in the day, but I thought I'd just mention that they are doing a giveaway so you can win one of these lip glosses. So comment down below in the description, no, comment down below in the comments if you want to enter the giveaway, just click, I want to enter the giveaway. Just say, I want to enter the giveaway or enter me or whatever and I will enter you into the giveaway and I will then pick a winner randomly from a hat and they will send you a free one of these. So just enter in the um, comments if you'd like to um, win one of these lip glosses because they are really, really nice. So let me know. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a review, kind of testing video, first impressions of the Nubian. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I'll leave the name on the screen. I'm really bad at pronouncing things, especially when I've not heard it before. Um, but the brand's called Nu, 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 nu be, <laughs> Anyway, it's called that. And this is the Nude Lip Augmentation Gloss that they have sent me. They asked if I wanted to review the product if they would send it to me for free. And I was like, hell yeah, because obviously I love makeup, I love skincare, I love everything like that. So that is what I'm doing on my channel. At the minute, I'm not really accepting as many free things as I used to to do reviews. But when it comes to makeup, I'm 100% accepting. So this sounded very interesting to me when they emailed me because it was lip plumping. It said it was lip plumping, so I thought, Oh, interesting because I've tried lip plumping glosses from Soap and Glory and I know that they are really, really good and they work really well. So I was interested to try this. So this is what the packaging looks like and I personally love it. Like when this arrived, I was obsessed. This is the kind of packaging that I would do if I was like a brand owner. I know that sounds very random, but it's just very simplistic, but you know, chic and nice and just... I don't know, it's just, this is just my vibe. Um, so the lip gloss comes inside this packaging here, like this, and this is the plumping augmentation gloss. So at today's video, I am gonna show you me applying this, and also I'm gonna do a wear test throughout the day, see how my lips are looking, if it's lasting on my lips very well, if I need to reapply, etc, etc. So that's what this video is gonna be. It's just a very casual vlog. I'm not kind of doing like a sit down, proper studio lights kind of video because I'm moving out very shortly, as you can see. So I, I'm just not gonna be bothered with all that stuff. But yeah, this is gonna be like a more vloggy style video. So I'm gonna apply my lipstick onto my lips and then I'm gonna apply this lip gloss on top because that's what I would usually do and that's what I do with the Soap and Glory one so that's how I'm going to test this product. Yesterday I did use this three times. I wanted to apply it quite a bit yesterday because that was the first time that I used it and I wanted to see how it worked throughout the day and I also wanted to make sure that I didn't get any reactions to it or anything so that's why I applied it quite a lot and it does tingle your lips a lot like a lot and makes them feel like really kind of I don't know, it does make them feel really plump. So I will show you in this video, but this is gonna be kind of like a proper wear test video. So I'm just gonna go and get my lipsticks. Hello, I'm back. So I'm just gonna take my mirror and I'm just gonna use my Huda Beauty lip contour um, lip liner in the shade Venus to line my lips, just kind of subtly. I'll just zoom you in a bit closer. The lip liner has reached the end, so it's kind of scratchy. Not good. Okay, so I've lined my lips. I'm now going to apply a lipstick, and the one that I'm using today is the Soph X Revolution lipstick in the shade Syrup. Love this one. This is a go-to. And I'm just going to apply that. Okay, obviously you can put the gloss on without putting a lipstick on, but that's what I did yesterday. But I always like to have colour on my lips, I always like to wear lipstick, so this is kind of why I'm doing this. So I'm now going to apply it on top. The only thing is, is it's obviously going to make the applicator a bit dirty with lipstick, but I'm fine with that. So I'm going to start to apply. Now, with this product, I actually overline my lips. 
so I overline my lips with the gloss which you can't actually see it just looks more shiny and makes your lips look more plump and especially on the top So as you can see, the only problem with applying this on top of lipstick is that it will get the applicator dirty. Um, so I'm just gonna wipe that a little bit, but that's fine for me because I'm okay with that. Hello. I'm filming a video. My jumper's not there, is it? I don't think so. <laughs> so this is the lipstick applied onto my lips, as you can see. So obviously my lips do look plumper already, but there is many reasons for that. First of all, I've lined my lips, and when you line your lips, it makes them kind of like overlined slightly, so it makes them look fuller. Um, lipstick and a lip gloss on, kind of shiny, it makes your lips look plumper anyway, and more fuller when you've got shiny product on. Um, it, my lips have already started to tingle, and the tingling feeling makes your lips plump slightly, so that is kind of the science behind this. If you're the kind of person that doesn't want to get lip fillers like me and you just want your lips to be a little bit more plump then this is the kind of product that you would use I love products like this where you literally just pop it on your lips and then your lips start tingling and then you just feel like I don't know it just looks nicer so I'm gonna see how this goes throughout the day I'll probably take my lipstick off later on and re and apply this on without any lipstick on I think to save this from getting dirty, I think I might just use this on its own because I do quite like it on its own. So I think that's what I might do because it will get really dirty if I keep applying it on top of lipsticks. But for today, we're gonna do this and see how it goes. But yeah, my lips are feeling very tingly at the minute. I'm gonna do check-ins throughout the day, but this is the first one once it's initially been applied. This is what my lips look like. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit of information about the product and then we can crack on with the kind of wear test little section of the video. So the product is £21.99. So I will link their website down below if you want to go check out the product, have a look at the information, everything like that, or potentially buy the product. I do have a discount code, which is Georgie15, and that will get you 15% off. I will leave that in the description just so that you get the code exactly right. It's all capital letters. I will also link down the this exact product so i'll link their website and i'll link down the exact product so you can go straight to it oh my lips really are tingling right now that's quite nice i do like that um this product itself is vegan and cruelty free which is obviously excellent i personally am really against brands that test on animals i just think you know we're in the kind of day and age where that just doesn't need to happen well it never needed to happen anyway but if other brands don't test on animals then why should you know this brand test on animals i know that china all always test on animals and then if brands kind of release products in china then that's why but i'm so glad that this product is cruelty free and i will also link their instagram down below as well in the description if you want to go and follow them on instagram see what other products they've got they've got loads of the lipsticks on the website and everything like that and obviously um this product as well so i'll link down their instagram so go in the description check out all the links and everything like that so let's crack on um with the wear test it is currently half past 11 so i'll check in with you probably just before lunch and then i'll check in with you after lunch and see how it's doing and a little update so i've just filmed a separate video it's like a catch-up video i don't know if that's gone up or not yet or it might be going up after this video um but the lipstick's doing really well i um my lips are still tingling so it's you know still going strong which is good and they are definitely looking plumper like in my definitely i know my own lips and they're definitely looking a little bit plumper which is obviously good um i am going to be doing a workout now so let's see how i look after the workout and then i'm going to be eating and i think the eating part is where it's going to start to go downhill but we will see so i am currently just in my room wow it's so bright outside today it's actually really sunny right now um i have done a workout since the last clip so i just filmed a video i've now done a workout it was about 35 minutes long and i've had a about a half an hour break since i've done that and i was just filming some clips for my facebook page my body shop facebook page um i'll link that down below if you didn't know i do sell products for the body shop so go and check that out um the link in the description for that 
Um, but anyway, so I've just been doing that and I thought I'd update you on the lipstick. As you can see, it's going strong. It's still on. The actual lipstick itself is kind of rubbing off a little bit in the middle, as you would probably expect. But the lip gloss is really staying on well and what i noticed yesterday is that it's quite a thick lip gloss so it's quite hard to get off so it's not one that you can easily kind of just smudge off or it will just sort of disappear it will stay on your lips for quite a long time which is obviously really good like you're getting what you pay for in that respect um my lips are still looking nice and plump which is good because that's the purpose of the lipstick so i will update you a little bit later on because i'm about to go and make my lunch it is now nearly about one o'clock so we will speak after that so i have just eaten so i thought i would show you what it looks like now completely rubbed off in the middle but as you can see it's still on the outside and kind of on the bottom so it still is like i don't know because obviously i've put it like around on the top of my lips like almost lined like overlined slightly so that's why it's still on there so it still looks all right but right now is the time where i would apply so in my opinion it doesn't stay on whilst you're eating um i couldn't taste it whilst i was eating so that's always good um but i am um gonna reapply it later on when i do go out i will do another check in though um when i do reapply it because i will put it on when i've got no lipstick on and you can see what it looks like then Okay, so it's now quarter to three and I have literally just been chilling, not doing that much, um, editing videos, things like that, like not much at all. Um, so I'm now going to reapply my lip gloss. Obviously it is a lip gloss, it's not going to be lasting all day long, so you do expect to have to reapply it, but I am going to take off what is on my lips. Actually, I can still feel the lip gloss on my lips, it's just obviously it's not as powerful as it once was in the morning i'm wearing different clothes by the way because um sorry just trying to remove this um because i'm about to go to the post office to deliver a body shop parcel to a customer so i'm just gonna do that but i'm gonna put my lipstick uh, my lip gloss on first so i'm just gonna apply it onto my bare lips no product underneath like i said it's quite thick so you have to kind of drag it along and the top and then like overline again like that so that is what my lips are looking like at the minute it's already started to tingle which is good that's what we want and are they looking any plumper they're definitely looking a lot better than when i didn't have the product on i personally think that this product works best on bare lips rather than on top of a lipstick yeah that's my opinion anyway i'll update you on this a little bit later on so we're kind of testing this product out over the top of a lipstick and then now we're testing it out on its own and i do already think it's better on its own that's my opinion anyway um but we'll see so yeah i might have gone and bought a uh cheeky diet coke from mcdonald's on the way back 99p um my lips are still tingling as you can probably tell i 100 percent they do look more plump one million percent sorry i'm just looking in the camera myself yeah i like that i love this product i've decided i used it all yesterday i've used it today it works best when it's just on your lips plain not any lipstick or anything like that i am going to drink my diet coke so we'll see if it rubs off after that but other than that there's not many much i can test with this product okay i know i don't look the greatest right now and um 
you know, it's a little bit of a difference from earlier on in the video. It is actually probably like a week after now since you last saw the clip. Sorry, I'm a bit blurry. Um, and I forgot to do kind of an ending to this video. So I just wanted to say thanks for watching this video. My overall thoughts on the lip gloss, because I've actually been using it every single day since I filmed the previous clips. Um, I, I love it. I am obsessed with it. I really do love it. And I wouldn't say that if I didn't mean it. Um... It does work really, really well at plumping your lips. You can see it in the video. You know, I'm not just going to lie to you here. You can see with your own eyes. Um, obviously, it does not last all day, just like any normal lip gloss doesn't. You will have to reapply it probably once during the day, but it does last on a lot better than most. I would say to apply it just to bare lips if you want to get like the full effect, because if you put it on top of a lipstick, then you're going to get the pigment from the lipstick inside the applicator and the bottle and everything, which, you know, it's fair enough if you don't mind that but it looks better without and also it just makes your lips look more plumper if you put it straight onto the lips and works a lot better at plumping them um but remember there is a giveaway so please do comment down below in the comments to enter the giveaway and i will choose a winner very soon and i will message you and let you know if you've won um so yeah without further ado give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on my channel thank you for watching and i will see you very soon goodbye <laughs>